Her enemy with the tag, and she comes in here, and just as I say that, Renegade Diva takes in the Anna Tan. She comes up with that huge clothesline. Turns her around, and oh, look at that. She kicked when she's down in the center of the ring. Oh my god! That cheerleading like move that finishes off that moonsault. And Emmy not phased though, she's bringing it back. And plants the boot on the side of Anakin's face. Oh. Got the foot up on the ropes though. Moon Roka trying to get the crowd behind Aaron Emini here. They're going to put all the stops in order to get the World's Cross Tag Team. They've been most dominant in the Viva Tag Team Division since February after they won it from... won both titles from the Angels. He's going to take off that huge moonsault there. And that's his bump with a figure four. And how a poor ring presence there. She, but it didn't matter. Adam didn't even, didn't even get the rope break. And so much... so much... So much Huge moments, shocking. Oh my god! Did you see that? This has got me right here after that hook and run to turn into a power bomb. Vintage ice main right there. It's totally unre it's totally unrelentless on an Antan. I don't even know how Antan even got back up from that. On the corner running a demon tag that was this gonna be oh my god that, that spike power driver, this is gonna be right here. I'm gonna look at stops the count. Man, I don't even, you know, Monarch wasn't going to get any equipment. She was hesitant for a second or two. There was no, no way Ern Emily would have been able to kick out of that. No one kicks out of a spike power driver. Those, that's the type of move that breaks necks. It's still amazing how Ern Emily's still able to go here. Some of the intriguing moments where he took in place to apply a whole night bash, of course. After all that, after the lights went out just now, who, who was behind all that? Not to mention the, the, the Prince of Cell, oh my god! That one-handed spine, one-handed spine, I said that's right, just shattering her spine. And only getting a two count there, and then they even showing her resilience. You know, that spine buster. Forget Rock Duck, he also sold the... Saw the first loss of Planet X here tonight in a grueling matchup against Von Creed. He did not see that. He got a watch. He definitely see that in the replay. Yeah, you're right, Nishi. I'm going to go on the record and say that's probably the most brutal, most bloodiest, most violent match I've ever seen. And, it, and that one was, and this was and this is not even bloodshed. Not to mention, we just saw Lazor Blanca get unmasked. And it's going to... And what am I... Renegade to the tent, sending Aaron Emmy to the outside. And look at this. Springing leg drop on the Aaron Emmy. Classic Renegade Diva offense. They're going outside with a huge offense. They couldn't uh, bring her in the weaken her in the ring to get a possible pin attempt. Now back in the corner. And Tan, she wants a tag here. And is she going to get it? Aaron Emmy trapped in the corner. Enemy territory. And Tan asking Renegade Diva something, yelling in her in her ear. I think she wants a tag. Renegade Diva not letting her. And she got some plan up her sleeve, but oh my! Aaron Emini with that boot! And Emini focusing on Anna Tan there. And she shot off the apron. And then sends her into her own corner. She got her up and puts her face on the turnbuckle. And Tan couldn't do a darn thing about it. Goes for a cover! Oh no, Antan comes in here and breaks it up. Also, poor ring, poor ring presence by Aaron Emmy as he tried to go for a pin tip on Renegade Diva in the corner where Antan can easily break up the pin. As he tags into Mona Loca. You know, like I said, he's been, you know, if Mona Loca wanted to, you know she would have wanted to do, do this match by herself, but she believes she's smart to know that it's going to take up a tag team partner to even the odds against the World's Odds tag team, unlike Arisea. And we're looking at precarious position here. Turning around that swinging neck breaker. No better partner for Mona Loka than none other than Ice Maiden, Aaron Emmy, who knows World's Hot Tag Team better than anyone else. Like I said, like I said he's been in the with Renegade Diva, felt, you know, a good portion of 2008. And they make things personal, you know, after that fake sex tape.
and ruining Bruce Hart's tag team and causing Pink Angel to turn their back on him. Wait a minute, I've seen this before. He has a pop up on the top rope. Oh my god, well pung jaw jawbreaker. And how the hell did Renegade did manage to get a little blow in? I don't know. Of course, the referee allowing it because it's an urban rules match, and then plus for women, so it's not really that effective. Renegade Diva doing the smart thing, getting a quick tag, and then she was you know, right next to her corner. Uh, inexperience again from the challengers here tonight. Doing a lot of risky things in enemy territory. Look, and can the, oh my god, that athleticism. That spear in the corner, and that hesitation drop kick. And Tan goes, turns her over, that dead weight, costs her a little bit of time here, and then you try to break it up, and she does it in the nick of time. That's going to be like, that's going to be like a two and seven eighths, or I'm going to suppose that that's probably like a two and like eight nineteenths or something. That was about the most, most closest near falls I've seen in a long time. And then Aaron and Emily didn't hesitate there one second. Oh, look at this. Huge chop block close on combination. Excellent double team maneuver by the challengers here. Huge big boot sink in a 10. Flopping costume. Now look at this. Now this fight is in the in no woman's land. God, huge cross by my Mona Loka. Now this fight's taken outside. You know, this is where the fans want this match to take place. Perfectly legal. Urban rules here. And then we going back outside. In mind folks, this match. Urban Rules is like the World Class Tekken specialty. This match was hand picked by the Enforcer in order to punish the challengers, Mona Loka and Aaron Emini here. They had a great experience. Remember, it was an Urban Rules match that the World Class Tekken beat the Angels definitively at Pandemonium. You will not notice that as it's all Mona Loka and Aaron Emini right now so have the upper hand. Aaron Emini just utterly destroyed. Renegade Diva there, and she's taking her attention to Mona Loka, to Anna Tan, I should say. Renegade Diva's out of it. Oh my, that Exploder Suplex. An outside floor. Renegade Diva's still motionless. I can't even see what enemy did to him. Maybe we can have a replay her later. This fight's already bringing on the chaos. Look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that soul speed cutter on the Mona Loka on the outside. Oh, look at that Anna Tannis bragging and boasting. Except, surprise, he didn't go for a, a pin. Wait a minute. No, we're going to get Diva and, and Aaron Emmy to fight in the crowd. Shades of what has happened moment earlier between two big Stephen Jackson, Luke Fowler, and Jeff Becker. But the same fans being a part of the action. Definitely get their money's worth here in Chicago. God, Aaron Emery got neck breaker on the, on the arena floor. I'm gonna get D with Aaron, Aaron Emery to pick up from him straight. Oh, look at, oh, come on! A cheap ass stomp on the foot. Huge throwback, right through, right through the fans. Good, 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 good point of view what Bring D was doing to Aaron Emery, but the fans are in the way. Right in the middle, as you said. Kind of hard to tell what she's getting through. Oh! She's going for something huge here. The back the action. And the, oh, and the Spanish announce table. Bring it back. And Mona Loka is ramming in a chance face repeatedly into the table. Now, man, I don't know what uh, what happened when we cut away to Aaron Emmy and running a deep. That's when we saw Mona Loka was on the receiving end of the Soul Street Cutter. Now she has the upper hand here. No, on top of the table, and now we're cutting away! Something, something huge is gonna happen! Trying to get that camera back. But right here next to the exit, these two still going at it. And they're even taken down. And out, totally out of it, just going through the... The doorway there, now they're gonna bring it back into the arena. Oh my god, I huge decapitating closing on more damn near decapitating. I'm gonna get D if if there was if 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 Aunt Tan put any more stink on that shot, that would have taken her head clean off. Oh wait a minute, my oh, oh my god! The the locomotion was driven at him neck first to the spiritual announce table! 
That's gonna be the third time that announcement will be taking a part in this match. Got a huge look, but plus the biggest locomotion in UW history on the Anatan. And you know Mother Look is definitely getting revenge on Anatan now. Look at this, what are you do? On the receiving end, on the receiving end of that gut wrench suplex by Aaron Emmy on the concrete floor. And what's he gonna take a stop for Utah's tag team after this also by Aaron Emmy? And what are you gonna do is still going at it. This match has gone all over the place. Definitely didn't not what we expected at one bit this match. And look at this. Look at that ring bell. Oh my god, Aaron and a ten cleans her clock, so to speak. Bells will be ringing. And Moroka set on men to get her shoulder off the mat for that two count. 